Oh my gosh. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code ITRESOLVES10YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another exciting mystery crate opening. This is brought to you by our amazing friends, our local game store, and truly just some really awesome people, Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles. If you don't know who they are, we've talked about them for a while now. They actually have been with us kind of since the beginning. Even through new management, they have still stuck with us and they are amazing individuals. I honestly have nothing but great things to say about them and I know that they are expanding their store here in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Carolina. If you would like to come uh, hang out with them, maybe uh, play some games, some Commander is really popular there, please go hang out with them. They're really, truly great people, and I cannot thank them enough for what is a massive... Look at this thing! It's huge! This is our, our loot crate this month! What in the world? So as you guys know, uh, last month we had our very first mystery crate. That is something that I've always wanted to do and Grand Slam was very kind and said, hey, we got you. And so they hooked us up with a lot of value. They said this one might even be better though, so I'm really excited to jump into this and see what we can get. I have no clue what's in here. I know roughly how much value there is in it, but that might even be off base. I have no clue. Uh, they handpicked and put this together just for us. So without further ado, guys, I think we're gonna jump right in. All right, first things first, we have to open this thing. I've got, I, I remembered this time. I have keys, so that way I can open it this time, and I cannot wait to see what we get. Oh, maybe I can get it. Josh, you taped it too good, my friend. I know Josh is the, the general manager over at Grand Slam who puts these together for us. And my goodness, why did you tape it so much? Josh, get it, get it together, man. We gotta get this figured out. We can do this. There we go. We did it. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I already see some mystery packages. Oh my goodness. What in the world? Okay, hold on. Holy crap. Um, okay, so some things that we have. Uh, we have got some envelopes. I think these might be empty. Hold on. Are these just empty envelopes? Josh, what you doing? This one's not empty. I have no clue what's in this one. We've got another mystery, another mystery, another mystery, and another mystery. So that is five mystery packs. We have no clue what to expect. I'm setting those there because there's too much there. Uh, we have got, oh yes, oh, dude. Okay, hold on. We're gonna, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, we've got a tube of some kind. I have no idea what's in there. Uh, we have got, ooh, what is this? What? All right, hold on. Uh, we have got, <laughs> what is this silly? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, dude, that's so sick. Okay, this is a little MTG and D&D &D, like book. So what you can do is you slide your little cards in there uh, and then you actually have this graph paper here on the back for your D&D uses and stuff like that. The camera's probably a little bright, so you probably can't see it. Um, but here, let's, let's, we've got so much stuff. This is so exciting. Okay, uh, but holy crap, what a cool thing. Okay, we're gonna set that there. We also, oh, also have uh, a Strixhaven pre-release box. Uh, I'll throw that on this little camera so you can kind of see that. I'll move keys and all this stuff. We have got a uh, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms pre-release box, and then we have a uh, Deadly Discovery Challenger deck, which if you don't know what these Challenger decks are, they're actually really sweet. They're some of the best, in my opinion, pre-constructed uh, uh, decks that they actually produce. Um, but we'll get into all that in a second because I am intrigued by this. This is interesting. Okay, this is a wall scroll, uh, which I have no clue what that technically is. I've never seen this before. What in the world? Look at this fun thing. Oh my gosh. Okay. I wish I could have done this upside down, but I can't. What in the, oh, it is upside down. Oh my gosh. All right, look at this thing. 
What in the world? <laughs> it is the stained glass Elspeth Conquers Death artwork. Holy crap, look how beautiful that is. Well, we're gonna have to hang this up somewhere. Dude, okay, that is so sick. Holy crap, I didn't even know they made these. All right, so this is the kind of stuff, this is where Grand Slam spoils us, is because I have no clue what any of this stuff is. I have no clue, I didn't even know this was made. All right, we're gonna set this in there. We also have this tube, which, oh, it's got a poster inside. All right, hold on. This is a really cool one. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my lord. Okay, this is gonna be really hard to show, but it is Innistrad Midnight Hunt, and it it's gonna, like, try and roll because it's not posted up anywhere, but look at that freaking cool art! Oh my lord, this is so cool. Josh, what in the heck, man? You... you go above and beyond for me. Oh my gosh. Guys, I think Josh is... He's spoiling us again, that's all I can say. All right, so that's all of that stuff. Um, I have no idea what this is. I'm very curious. So it's got, it's in a, a little like baseball trading card thing. I'm not into baseball cards. I got no idea what's in. Josh, <laughs> this is not baseball cards. Josh, my dude, what in the world? Okay. So not only do we have all these mystery packs to open, we have got the pre-release kits, we've got the challenger deck. Look at this, what a treat. Okay, I'm gonna show these here on the little side cam. Uh, sorry for the background. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven convention edition mystery booster packs. Convention edition, if I am not mistaken, those are the ones that have the like uh, the test cards in them, the ones that are like not technically real cards, but they are like kind of real cards. Dude, what in the world? Okay, um, and not only that, we have all these things. Okay, so we gotta figure out how we're gonna break this up because I don't think we're gonna do everything in one video. I think we're gonna break this up into two just like we did the previous time. I think what we'll start with, because we all know what is in these challenger decks, we'll do a quick run through uh, of the challenger li uh, deadly discovery list because it is so sick. Again, these challenger decks, guys, uh, if you are looking at like a, just a really good starting point for a deck, whatever that deck might be, these challenger decks are a really great place to start. So not only do we get this awesome little dice, I like that, or die, excuse me. They do come with a sideboard, which is really cool. Uh, and then they also, of course, come with the deck list itself. We'll do a very quick run through of just the deck list. Again, not super, um, I, I mean, there's no mystery side to the, the challenger decks, but it is a really, really cool uh, little piece of, of magic history, to be honest. I mean, it's very sick. All right, so we've got obviously Vraska Relic Seeker, a very cool card, find finality. Uh, a couple of those actually. Woodland Cemeteries, which are great. An Overgrown Tomb. Jade Light Ranger, another Jade Light Ranger. The Elves. And I think most of these are just, the rest of these are gonna be like commons and uncommons. I might be wrong. We'll uh, we'll do a quick run through. We got this. Wild Growth Walker. Uh, this was, I believe, reminiscent of the, uh, the Citadel deck, which liked to explore and do that kind of stuff. Ravenous Chupacabra, such a sick card. Uh, Plague Crafter, a very good one as well. Look at all this stuff. This is, I think when they brought, this might have been when they brought Challenger decks back. I might be wrong in saying that, uh, but there's a lot of value in these Challenger decks. They did like an Arclight Phoenix deck. They did all kinds of stuff. Uh, so some really, really sick value in these decks and just very, very good. I believe, yeah, the rest is just basic lands. Let me get all this out of the way. Oh my God. I'm, I am flustered, to be honest. I'm so flustered because there's so much cool stuff here. I, I don't even know what to do with it all. Okay, we, uh, we'll go through the sideboard really quick as well, because you know what, why not? Let's have, let's have a little fun with it. Oh my gosh, Josh. My dude, uh, Josh is the man. Grand Slam truly is just a really, really nice place to be, a great place to uh, to work with and a great uh, sponsor of this video. So thank you guys again so much. I hope everybody here enjoys these mystery crates. Uh, as we're kind of finishing up and, and choosing what we're gonna open next, which I guess we gotta, we gotta decide. Oh, and we gotta make a giveaway too. Um, let's open up. Let's go with a couple, just two maybe. We'll do two of these mystery. Oh, 
We'll see. We'll start with one of these little mystery things. We'll see what's in it. This is actually a, quite a big one too. Um, but uh, the uh, we do have a giveaway going on right now, guys. So if you would be interested, oh, if you'd be interested, uh, please do subscribe to the channel. It really does mean a lot. Look at this, guys. Collectors boosters all day long. Let's start with Strixhaven. Let's see what we get. Uh, we do have a giveaway going on right now for Midnight Hunt. If you would like to be a part of that, like I said, just subscribe and come hang out with us. That's all you gotta do. Uh, Battle Seer, Re-Sculpt, Beaming Defiance, Promised Dusk Mage. Ooh, I love that. Witherbloom Campus, Umbral Juke, Creative Outburst. Ooh, a Foil Lesson, Basic Conjuring, very cool. Elemental Expressionist, a very nice foil as well. We got a Extended Art Creative Technique, I like that. Augmented Pugilist, I don't know. And then on the back, Echoing Equation. A beautiful uh, Mystical Archive card, have no idea what these archives are. The the Japanese ones I really don't know, I'm very, uh, sadly, not very smart with those. Uh, Tezzeret's Gambit, a foil one as well. And a Wandering Archaic foil with that beautiful Elemental token. What a great start, oh my gosh. Uh, let's do the other Strixhaven really quick. Strixhaven's really sick in my opinion. There's a lot of uh, really good value in these sets in my opinion, and the collector's boosters are a really good place to get a lot of that value naturally. Curate, we've got Prismari Pledge Mage, Charge Through, Professor's Warning, Overgrown Arch, Silver Quill, Apprentice, Teachings of the Archaics, another beautiful foil lesson. Oh, Dragon's Guard Elite foil, very, very good. Oh my gosh. Sequence Engine, Augmenter again, that's kind of funny. Uh, shock, this card, um, <laughs> a beautiful Shock again, foil. Oh, Extended Foil Vanishing Verse. What in the world? And then of course a Fractal Token as well. And then we got one more here, guys, of Kaldheim. Wow, oh my God, I love this. I love this so much. There's so much to, to unpack here. I love mystery boxes. I think that, um, again, it's such a pleasure to work with them that they're able to put these together for us. So go thank the Grand Slam, go hang out with them. They've got a Facebook group down below. Raven's Warning is our first rare. Ooh, Maskwood Nexus, that's a very good one. Elvish Warmaster Foil, a uh, the Freezing Flame, uh, the Outlaw, nice. Reckless Crew Foil. One thing I have noticed, can you guys, there's a little bit of a curve there. It's not too bad, it's not too bad. We're gonna enjoy it. All right, do that. What do we wanna do next? I think we want to, let's, we might, okay, here's the deal. We might give away a mystery booster. I feel like that would be really fun, but for now, we're gonna open up one of these. Oh, we're gonna like spread these out, I think, a little bit, because there's so much cool stuff here. God, this is so amazing. I love this. I love this so much. Okay, these mystery boosters, if you don't know, are essentially all reprints with this little planeswalker symbol here, uh, if you can tell. And the idea being that it just is like a giant list of cards. Uh, there's some really, really good ones in here. Uh, there's also, I believe with the convention edition, like I said earlier, I do believe that there are the test cards in here. Uh, and I can't wait to see if there, if if we've got one. I hope it's the convention version. Otherwise, that's going to be really disappointing. Riptide Crab. Ooh, Mishra's Bobble. Not a bad little card. Hedron Crab. Not bad at all. Arch of Araska. Ooh, it is. And Gorilla Tactics. Instant for two mana. Create a two-two green gorilla creature token. When a spell and a or an ability an opponent controls causes you to discard a card. Uh, with the card name Gorilla Tactics, create two 2-2 two, two green gorilla creature tokens. That is so sick. Dude, okay, we gotta like keep track of all these. Uh, these are really, really, really cool cards. So I wanna make sure that we do that. All right, I'm gonna do another mystery pack. I'm just kind of haphazardly picking up stuff. I hope that's okay. All right, we got another one. Let's see what's in here. There's a small one too, and I really wanna know what that one's about. Uh, I'm really, really curious if I can even get into this. What in the world? These are so sticky. Um, all right, I got it. Look, it's, it's stuck on my thumb. Get it off. Okay, we did it, we did it. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Ooh, I see something really special. Okay, a regular Strixhaven pack. We have got an Adventures in the Forgotten Realms pack and then a Collector Booster of Modern Horizons 2. What in the world? 
Josh, you have got to calm down. You have got to calm down. Okay, this is so sick. Oh, we uh, we go this way, I believe, for these. Let's make sure. Nope, I lied. Okay, art card. <laughs> Inquisition of Kozilek art, though. That's very, very cool. Oh, my finger is so sticky now from that. That's so silly. Teachings of the Archaics, our first rare already. Uh, Novice Dissector, Bayou Groff. Tangle Trap. Oh my gosh. Honor Troll. All these green cards. Are these just green cards? Lorehold Command. Beautiful. And a Cultivate as well with a Foil Eureka Moment. Not a bad little pack. Look at this. Oh my gosh. All right. Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. Another really, really nice one. Guys, I think what we're gonna do is give away one of these mystery boosters. I think uh, if you would like to enter, comment your favorite card that we have pulled down below, and also give a little shout out to Grand Slam. Give them a thank you, because truthfully, this would not be possible without them putting in the effort, putting this together for us, and just stocking it full of crazy, crazy value. I mean, it is insane. Oh my god, oh! What a hit! The Tarrasque! We played this very recently, I believe last week, uh, in Teferi's uh, Trickery. What a- Oh my gosh, and a Foil Archfiend as well! What in the world- Oh, excuse me, there is a token back there. What in the world? Guys, this is insane. Alright, this is really, really special because these collector's boosters, if you don't know, Modern Horizons 2, obviously a very high value set. Lots of really, really good stuff, and these collector boosters can go over the top. I am, like, not exaggerating at all. There is so much value to be had in these. A Foil Greed, the Dalkin Infiltrator, a beautiful mountain. Master of Death is our first extended art. Uh, we have got Faithless Salvaging with that beautiful showcase frame. Oh my goodness! Full Art Counterspell, what a beautiful card! Holy crap, that's stunning. Another Faithless Salvaging, this time foil. A Mind Collapse foil with that beautiful old school frame. Terminal Agony with that same beautiful old school frame. And then we have got Fire and Ice here. What a nice little card. Nykthos Paragon foil showcase as well. And then of course a beautiful clue token. Holy crap. Okay, what's next? I think we're gonna do another mystery pack. Actually, we're gonna give this one, we're gonna leave this right, right there. That's our, that's our thing. That's our mystery pack that we are going to give away, but we are going to open up one more right now. We're going to save most of these, I think, for the next video because these are too good. These are way too good to just go through so quickly. Spectral Gate Guards, Guided Strike, Gone Missing, uh, Convolute, Reassembling Skeleton. I believe, by the way, the, like, one of the biggest pulls in just the normal side of the cards here, not the, uh, the test cards, is Mana Crypt, if I'm not mistaken. A Shardless Agent, that's a good one. Uh, Whisper Silk Cloak, Mistform Shrieker, our rare two-headed giant. Not super great, but we do have a test card. Interplanar Brushwag. What? It's a 6-4 for 4 interplanar. This creature enters onto the interplanar battlefield. Players can't control creatures on the interplanar bat- What? Vigilance haste whenever a player attacks with a creature <clears throat> with power 4 or greater. This also attacks the player or planeswalker that uh, that creature is attacking. That is so cool. Look at that funny art. Oh my gosh. Two amazing cards off the bat. All right, I want to- let's do this. Let's open up one of these pre-release packs and then one more i think of the uh, mystery packages and then that way we've got a pre-release kit a handful of mystery boosters and then two of the other mystery kits to uh to run through in the uh the part two of all of this um and again we will announce the winner in part two of that mystery booster so do keep that in mind oh i don't want you guys to see that yet i can't show you what our promo is guys all right we got obviously an amazing little stack here oh that's cool did I know this was in here? Look at this. We got this little, this little art thing. Oh, that's really fun. Oh, I like that. Okay. Uh, we've got obviously some beautiful foil tokens. Oh, and they have the dungeons on the back. Wow, that's really cool. Okay, I like that a lot. I'm gonna set those there. And then of course, one more little die here. Uh, absolutely lovely. We always, get, we have like a little collection of dye. I actually like bought a little shelf thing that we could put everything in because we just ended up getting so much stuff. All right, here we go, guys. Let's see uh, what we are gonna get in our pre-release kit here. Now, normally these have at least some good, like usually one or two really good pulls per uh, kit. So I'm really excited to see what we get here. Uh, it could be actually quite good. Arcane Investigator, uh, Herald of Hadar, a mimic, beautiful little frame there. 
Owlbear, White Dragon, a great card, Battle Hammer, ooh, goodness, uh, Temple of the Dragon Queen in that very cool D&D frame. And then we already saw the rare Hobgoblin Bandit Lord, a really nice card, actually, uh, and then a token there. That's actually a really solid card, though. The Hobgoblin has seen a lot of play recently in Goblin decks, obviously, but very, very cool. All right. What do we got? What do we got? Eyes of the Beholder. Let me make sure we get this in frame here. Shambling Ghast. Scaled herbal Herbologist Bat. Uh, <laughs> Hoarding Ogre. Fane Death. Dire Wolf Prowler. Valor Singer. Warlord, Warlock Class. Goodness gracious. Magic Missile. Oh, we got a foil. We got a foil, guys. Oh, yes. Demi Lich. Oh my gosh, what a card. And then a foil Fighter Class. Very, very good. What a pack. That was really good. Um, oh, I'm excited. I actually didn't. I, I saw that the uh, the card, the promo was black. That's all I know. Uh, great axe. I didn't read it because I didn't want to give it away, guys. Not even to me. Uh, Dawnbringer Cleric, you come to a river. <laughs> oh, I love that. Uh, Bulet, you find some prisoners. That's, I, the card names in this set are very odd. Uh, Mind Flare is our rare, and then a Foil Gloom Stalker. I get why they're that way, let me be clear in saying that, because it is a D&D &D set, so like naturally they're gonna be that way, but um, very, very different. All right, uh, Boots of Speed. Soul Knife Spy, Improvised Weaponry. We've got two more packs after this one, guys, for this pre-release kit. I think then we are gonna, we might do one more mystery pack too. Those are really fun. I like those a lot. Critical Hit, I do wanna save the majority of them though for the next video. The Apprentice Paladin class, a fantastic card. We have seen that hit historic and standard very, very well uh, in a number of different decks, actually. Uh, it helps you get aggressive. It also helps your life gain, like does a lot of stuff. Kick in the door, Steadfast Paladin. Paladin, my goodness, Hill Giant, Red Herd Gorger, uh, Devoted Paladin, you find the villain's lair. Again, a very odd one. Uh, <laughs> I get it, but it is very odd. Zombie Ogre, White Dragon, Purple Worm, the Battle Hammer, and then a Circle of Druid Dreams, an absolutely stunning card and a very, very good ability as well. This is actually very powerful in my opinion. Planes and then a Treasure Token. All right, guys, the last pack before the promo. And then we're gonna open up some of these uh, these other little things. Oh, guys, what a freaking cool mystery crate. Again, Grand Slam, guys, I can't thank you enough. This is so sick. It's such a fun video to make every single time. We are gonna try and do this monthly, like I said. The only trick is next month I'm getting married. Uh, so it may be a little later in the month, but we are gonna try and do it just uh, because it's so fun. Treasure Chest is our rare. And then another foil, Tiger Tribe Hunter. Beautiful island, and then the lost mine. I like it. All right, guys, here we go. What is the f the uh, the promo gonna be? Let's see. Three, two, one. Boom. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> Westgate Regent. Very, very nice. Discard card. I love the stamp there. Uh, sorry, guys, it's a little off there, but wow, what a beautiful card. I'm gonna leave it in that wrapping for now. All right, we have got this this pack is very mysterious to me because you'll notice it's quite thin, whereas these others, which have at least historically had packs in them, are a little bit thicker. So I'm very curious to see what's in this one. I'm gonna go ahead and open this one up now. Let's see what we can get. Oh, also, look at that beautiful sticker. Look at that, Grand Slam, I love it. Uh, a little bit of promo there. All right, I have no idea what to expect out of this, guys. These have all been really, really fun, but uh, you just never know. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, so we have got some promo packs, guys. We've got a Strixhaven foil promo pack, a Dungeons and Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realm, and then a Kaldheim foil promo pack. Let's go ahead and just open these in reverse order. These promo packs are really, really fun. Uh, you, I think there's some like really, really good value in these actually. I think we might be upside down. Yes, we are, okay. Get this out of here. Ooh, very, very nice. The Caravanner and then Poison the Cup with Orvar the All Form, a beautiful one. If you'll notice guys right here, there's this little silver Planeswalker stamp. I'm trying to shimmer it a little bit so you guys can definitely see it, but these are really, really cool. All right, let's go for the Forgotten Realms. See what we get here. 
Uh, again, just making sure. Oh, these are backwards. Okay, that's weird. Uh, Minion of the Mighty is our first. We have got Power Word Kill. Very interesting. It almost looks, it's not, but it looks like there's a misprint. Oh, and a beautiful scavenging ooze. What a hit. Very, very good card. And then there you go, guys. If you want a little code, feel free. Did the other one have a code? Did I just miss it? I did. Here, have a code, guys. Go for it. You guys enjoy it. All right, and then we have got Strixhaven here. Let's see what we can get. Again, I don't know the list of like gettable cards <laughs> uh, in these. Uh, I've got no clue. So uh, this could be really, really interesting. All right, there's your code, guys. Enjoy. Have a great time. Ooh, Shine Shadow Snarl is our first one. What a beautiful land. Uh, Fracture is here. And then a Temple of Epiphany, not bad either. Uh, very, very good hits there. All right, we're gonna end it, guys, but with one more mystery booster. I can't help myself. There's a handful left, so we will have a really fun time with it. Do not worry, uh, but I gotta, I gotta open one. Like, they're just so cool. These are so sick. Oh my gosh, all right. Eyes in the Skies is our first card here. We've got a Court Homunculus, a Treasure Mage, the Ruin Expedition, Cackling Imp, Baleful Amet, Bloodfire Expert, Summit Prowler, Naturalize, Carnivorous Moss Beast, uh, Citadel Castellan, hope I'm saying that correctly, Alchemist File, and a Bow of Nylia, not that great. Solemn Simulacrum, pretty good though. And then we have a Lantern of Undersight. <laughs> One mana artifact, you draw cards from the bottom of your library instead of the top. Now that's actually cool. Uh, there's a, a deck that like plays around with the bottom of your of your deck. That's interesting. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love that. All right, we're gonna keep that there. Guys, I'm so stoked. Okay, first of all, I just wanna say again, uh, a huge, huge thank you to Grand Slam. This is always a really fun time. I know this is only the second time we've done it, but it's so fun. I love opening up random stuff. I have no idea what it's gonna be each time. And it's such a great surprise. You guys threw me for a loop this time. I had no idea what to expect, especially pulling out that baseball tin. I was like, that's not, no. Um, <laughs> but you got me, you got me with these amazing mystery boosters. I cannot wait to get into the rest of this. We're gonna save part two for later in the week, guys. But I wanna give you guys a huge thank you, all of you for watching and being a part of this community. It really does mean a lot to us. And again, Grand Slam, please go show them some love. Their Facebook group is down below. Go hang out with them in store, play some Commander. They always have a great time but until next time guys until part two when we give away this mystery booster i will see you guys then i hope you have a fantastic day i'll talk to you guys later